Getting started here with the kickoff. Gorillas taking on the Austin Blacks. Austin not able to come down with it securely. Do end up taking it. Justin Brown spins it really far across halfway across the field. Blacks on attack, looking to stretch the defense. Ball in play here with Matt Radzovich. And Matt Radzovich puts his head down, gets the gas, and he's not going to be caught. Matt Radzovich with a nice try down the sideline. Does he get it down? He does, so Radzovich, which a huge try there from the Blacks, starting off the scoring. Just gotten into the first minute of this match. So Gorilla giving up the try. Radzovich catches it somewhat flat-footed, finds a little bit of dance on the inside then puts his foot down, turns on the gas, puts his head down, and Radzovich, longtime player for the Austin Blacks, former Southwest Texas, Texas State. He might even go back all the way to the Southwest Texas days. I'm not quite sure. Track athlete there a little bit, I believe. Ball does not go in for the conversion, so Blacks up in this first minute, minute and a half, five nil. So a great start with the Blacks. They came out a little bit slow to their last match against the Rhinos and really were outclassed by the Rhinos in that match. And that's why the Rhinos taking on uh, in the cup semifinals, cup quarterfinals, excuse me. Gorilla not able to bring the restart down, spins it back inside though. Now Black's on defense here. Gorillas get it with a pace, able to secure it. Nice little support there from the Gorilla player. Black's going a little bit high, not able to take him down, finally do. Looking to see if there's space out wide. There is, and will the cover tackle come? And no, he does not make the tackle, so try awarded for Gorilla. So Gorilla's bounce right back, give it to the Blacks now. Tie the game at five, one try apiece. So the Blacks score a try on the kickoff and the ensuing attacking phases from Gorilla give up a try. So it is tied 5-5. Conversion is no good. So Gorilla's Blacks all tied up here. Certainly a boxing match between these two. Gonna be trading blows back and forth. So the kickoff for Gorillas here. Radzovich catches it and almost bobbled it, almost knocked it on, but comes securely with it. Spins it out here. Dylan Goulding here with the fend. Takes it hard in, but Lou almost loses it in contact. It's still in possession of the Blacks. Here in the middle of the field, the Blacks looking for, and Radzovich cannot hang on to it. So. Got a loss forward, knock on from the Blacks. It'll be Gorilla's ball here near midfield. So five to five, the score here, four minutes left. So Gorilla here with the put in on the scrum. You can see these boys blowing hard already. It's been a long, long day. Temperatures now into the 90s, 93 in fact what I have. So extremely hot conditions, extremely wet, sticky ball. Gorilla put in, bounces out and 
Blacks take it, offload. Oh, he gets tripped. That's a penalty. It's got to be unintentional, I guess. The referee doesn't see it that way. Lots of space, a lot of pace here. Radzovic with it again. Goes on the inside, and Radzovic makes the move. Got to run chaser, but he does put it down. So Radzovic with his second try. Austin bounces back with a score. Very patient play by the Austin Blacks there, moving it across the field, trying to find the space at the end on the edge there. It was a nice drawing pass. I believe that was Justin Brown that had the nice little break and gets it over to Radzovic, who is a fantastic finisher. The conversion attempt is short, so 10-5 the score now for the Austin Blacks over Gorilla Rugby. Gorilla, though, able to answer from the first try from the Blacks. Will they be able to answer back this second one? Really, really competitive match here towards the latter part of the afternoon, approaching 3 o'clock local time. The Blacks and Gorillas in this consolation semifinal. So free kick to Gorilla. Black's not finding 10 there. So Gorilla with the free kick and the middle of the field. Great opportunity for Gorilla to find some attack. Starts out one way, goes the other. Ball goes a little awry, but still backwards. Now we've got some dancing footwork and not held in the tackle. Finally is held in the tackle. So Gorilla restarts. And oh, the intercept try almost on, knocked forward. So knocked forward, penalty, and intentional knock on there. Not really intentional, it's just a knock on in my book. He's trying to make a, an attempt to score, intercept. So Gorilla with it now. Tackler trying to roll away for the blacks. Hands in the ruck. So Gorilla bailed out again, Gorilla down a man though, so only with six on attack. Extra defender up for the Blacks. Is it going to count? Is it going to matter? It's not. So Gorilla able to work that short side and get a try. So down a man because of an injury. Still able to score on that near on that far sideline. Tie the score up at 10. So we've got a real, real close one with this first half almost over. Gorilla ties it up, 10, 10 all, conversion to come, and it looks like this is halftime, so we'll just see if he can convert this very, very difficult conversion. Conversion is no good, so the score at half will be 10 all, 10 to the Blacks and 10 to Gorilla Rugby. Second half action coming your way in just a moment. We'll be right back.
getting ready for the second half here. We've got a close one. This is the consolation semifinal. This is the Blacks versus Gorilla. The Blacks with the kickoff. Black obviously is the jersey color for the Austin Blacks. And backwards is the call. So loss forward by Gorilla. This will be a put in for the Blacks. The second half just getting started here. Well, the first half, if you didn't check out the first half, which most of you probably did, it was a back and forth affair. Black scored first, Gorilla answered. Black scored again, Gorilla answered. So two tries apiece to these teams, very equally matched. Highly skillful rugby match, nice pushing it out wide there. And Radzovich, the two-time try scorer for the Austin Blacks, unable to find space there, but penalty gathered by the Blacks. Gorilla not 10, so Blacks quickly use it, spinning it wide, using the defense here, trying to stretch them out. Konecki in, goes wide again. This is Goulding. Goulding taken into the tackle. Black's trying to be patient here, trying to find some space. Oh, and a big hit. Saw that one coming from a mile away, so. Still playing advantage, I think, from that earlier penalty. So it'll be Black's ball on the scrum put in. And as interesting as that hit was, big hit by the man coming off right now for Gorilla on the Blacks number six, Justin Brown, but Justin Brown able to pop right back up. Tough customer. And the Gorilla guy making the hit is coming off. So a lot of energy expended in that hit. One side looked to be the better end of it, but comes off. And now the Blacks put in. So working that side, far side there, using Radzovich again, a nice inside line with support and the Blacks pick up another try. So first try of the second half, two minutes in, and it is the Austin Blacks that will go back up on top. So waiting, just waiting and taking time. They don't have to put it down until, well, until they choose to. And a lot of times they'll wait and get, get their breath, extend the game out. So Blacks under the post. 15 to 10 lead right now with the conversion to come. on where the ball is. And I'm assuming that the conversion was good. Still haven't seen the ball. So. The ball was kicked after the conversion above the nets that keep the ball in play so this ball went into well not the parking area but a deep field and apparently we only have one ball on this field so um, and the referee is going to an award a penalty to gorilla for the time delay I don't see how this is the fault of the Blacks. The ball was kicked to its conversion, and very questionable decision here by the referee to award a penalty to the Gorillas. So Gorillas with the short arm, down seven to the Blacks, and restart play here. Miss tackle and Gorillas on attack. So 
Blacks in possession of the ball. Penalty for holding on, it appears. So the ball gets kicked deep. And a try is scored by the Austin Blacks. So was able to catch a little bit of that, but kicked really deep. Gorilla not able to handle it. Blacks right there, that's Hayden Johnson. Hayden Johnson with the score. Austin extends their lead. And the kick is softly over this time. Not a big kick, trying to keep the ball in play. So the Blacks lead now 24 to 10 over Gorilla Rugby. So, Black's kicking off the restart to Gorilla. It's pushed back, so Gorilla has it. Gorilla with possession, looking to use the wide side of the field. Steps inside, some big goose steps here, and some nice strides, but defense there for the Blacks, and nice tackle there by the Blacks. So Black's getting around the corner, Gorilla. Nice spin move and inside pass, and Gorilla is still still getting challenged by the Blacks, and it gets thrown away. And kind of a lost ball there, looking for someone to call it their own. Still not sure exactly. Now the Blacks have it. Blacks have it and need some support. So just looking for the support there. Blacks though with a lot of men. Now Gorilla's back defensively. So ball out to the Blacks here now. And using their pace on the on this edge here, the switch back move back on the inside. And that is a score from Austin. So Austin starting to take control here in the last couple of minutes of this match, showing their attacking acumen. Now taking the score to 29 to 10. So, and that will be the final 31 to 10 blacks over gorillas. 31 to 10, the final score there. We'll be back with action here on field 